Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife and Resources Agency. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as uh, we roll into this uh, Thanksgiving holiday weekend uh, into our 24th year on the air. And uh, what a show. Ron Wong. I know that uh, I'm so glad you're in the studio with me today. I got to tell you, this, this has been, been uh, w- another all-star. Oh, fastest lineup. 90 minutes in outdoor radio Absolutely. program. This has felt like we've been here about 20 minutes. Yeah, it may not feel that to Shelby McCall. She's our show <laughs> producer, but uh, to start and finish with this show and end with uh, well, how can I not like something? Uh, all fishing, all fishing. <laughs> in November. I know next yeah. guy I'd probably rather talk about deer hunting. I know that for a fact, well, especially this time of year. <laughs> and Absolutely. I would, I would too. You know, particularly if I lived in God's country where he lives. But uh, where's that? No, oh, it's you know where it is, across the river. Anyway, <laughs> it's always great. To, <laughs> it's always great to talk to the man himself, Larry Nixon, and uh, as we talked earlier with David Fritz and having Larry and David and Jordan Lee on today's show and. All talking, and we kind of wrapped this show up with Larry, who just recently uh, announced that he's stepping away from the Bassmaster Elite Series in 2024. And when I tell you uh, what Larry's body looks like, you will understand this more after we talk to Larry. Good Saturday morning, Larry Nixon. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Good Saturday, guys. Glad to be here. <laughs> well, let's talk about Absolutely. talk about the decision. I know. Look, let me say this. I'm going to go ahead and say because it, it was in the press release, so it's officially, okay? Let's, let's, here's what it says. Over the course of his career as professional bass fishing, I've worn out two thumbs, a shoulder, a heart, a knee, and an elbow due to competitive repetition. <laughs> And I've I've been in this business over fifty years. I got I I started hurting after I read that sentence, you know. But uh, <laughs> well, you should have. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I feel like I feel like the bionic man. To be honest with you. And, yeah, uh, you and Lee I, Majors, I you know. But uh, again, I know this was something that you. Uh, because uh, you're a competitor, I know that, buddy. You you've been a competitor. I mean, they don't call you the general for nothing. Uh, so talk about the decision, Larry. Well, after I fished last year, you know, I was on the elite trail and, yeah. uh, uh, and I, listen, I had a ball. I, I should have had a pretty good year, but shoulda, coulda, woulda is always there, you know, no matter what. But, yes. uh, when we went to Champlain and that wind blew so hard, yeah, the first two days of competition, why? By the time I got to the St. Lawrence River, I could barely walk from the console wow. to the patrolling motor. In fact, I almost had to crawl up there. Oh. My hips were were so stove up. And, uh, you know, during the course of the tournaments themselves, you know, trying to do simple things like tie knots, dump a trolling motor over the front, walk <laughs> yeah. to the back, lift the trolling motor back in the boat. Let me tell you something. Yes. When you're That's when a lot you've of work. as long as I have, yeah. that is really a lot of work. And the doctor that did my shoulder, he said, Now you are retiring, right? And I <laughs> said, Well, yeah. no, I'm not sure about all that. I think and I have fished three or four years since he did that. I know you have. Yes. And uh you know, occasionally I can feel that it's kind of loose already. Oh, and yeah. you know, you when you when you reach back there to put your jacket on and it don't want to really come back in the right spot, it's time to hang it up. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Listen, I'm still going to fish a little, few little tournaments to be with my good friend Tommy Martin. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. He's oh, yeah. 80, he, he just turned eighty three. Really? And he still oh, loves, wow. Uh, uh, loves to fish the local tournament. Yeah. There you go. And uh, yeah. yeah, when they, when they have a event event at Toledo Bend or Sam Rayburn, I'm going to go see. Him. There you go. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, I ain't got to practice now. I'm I'm officially not worried about it one darn bit. Yeah. <laughs> and your right. and your health is still I mean, you're feeling good it, other than your body. It's your, and a That's lot of folks exactly right. a lot of folks don't realize this, Larry. Yeah. Um, I mean, what you guys do now, some of these younger guys, I I I know they can't feel it, but uh I don't know how Rick Clun still does it at 50 years. Yeah, me neither. You know, well, I mean, I can, I can I can tell you right now, Rick Clun don't have any arthritis in them joints. He does not have any. Cause that's yeah. all, that's that's exactly right. And, and Tommy Martin is exactly the same way. That's wow. amazing. Eighty-three I mean, years uh, old, yeah, wanting to go fishing. 
Well, I can tell yeah. you, yeah, and I, you know, I, 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 I got like bone it. on bone <laughs> you everywhere got in my body. In your body, yeah. And I, and I will say that I'm 80, and I don't have any of that problem other than cancer last year, you know, that set, yep. set me back. But I've never had a shoulder, I've never a knee replaced, no nothing. And so the good Lord's yeah. been good to me. Then I think how long you've been doing this, Larry, and you've seen so many changes over the years. And people don't realize how many times you're throwing that crank bag, how many times you're doing this, how many times you're doing uh, putting in line, just all the work that goes into this thing. And, uh, and I'm yeah, mashing, a, a, lot of mashing work. a thumb bar. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mashing, mashing a thumb bar on your reel is wore out two thumbs. Is yeah, that, I learned how to fish left-handed after I wore the right one out. Are you and serious? And now I wore it out and yes. had to get it fixed. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and, Larry, I mean, you know, it's kind of like what I was telling, um, uh, talking to David with earlier, but the reputa- uh, repetition, yeah, yeah. some of the things you got to do. Yeah. You know, back in the old days <laughs> when when fishing was a lot different, you might hit three to five at the most six right. places fishing in one day. Today, it's more like 40 to 60 miles uh, <laughs> stop and goes. <laughs> uh, and, and Drop fishing. the troll motor over, fish five minutes. That's right. Well, that's up, exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. changed a lot, too, Adam. Oh, yeah, I'll see you. You know, I've always said I'm a better fisherman, and I've always done better in tournaments when I had an area, and I just ran to that area and fished all that. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. You know, I didn't, I didn't have to deal with all them other problems. Yeah. Well, that's really hard nowadays with all the, the education these kids have got mm-hmm. to find an area to yourself. Yeah, for, that's right. Uh, for two that's or three right. days. It, it ain't going to happen. It's not, not yeah. going to happen. And, uh, that's that's not no excuse, but that's just the way it is. They're good. They're real good. Well, they but, they learned way too fast. <laughs> well, it's not only that, Larry, but in the way that they only make five, two to four or five casts per spot now. And then gone. Whereas you know, back in the old days, <laughs> we sat in These old one days. spot for an hour, yeah. two hours, waiting for the fish to bite or making them bite. But now you got to keep moving. That's that's strenuous work, isn't it? It's work. It's yes, it's I'm not gonna. I don't do that. I still ain't gonna do that. I can tell you right now. I, I just ain't. That's not in my vocabulary. Well, yeah. You, what and, you've been uh, able to do this, Larry. This isn't something that happened overnight. It's it's something that happened. Uh, we're talking to a guy that's won 14 BASS wins, old first million dollar guy, and things along that line. Uh, with this, uh, the the nickname, the general. Uh, talk about uh, uh, the the way the evolution of fishing uh, is now what it was when you started, Larry. I mean, uh, yeah. Well, I've been in this game forty six years, wow. and uh, yeah. you know the the biggest change, of course, is electronics. Electronics, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, having the navigation means to navigate all over a body of water in a straight line. We used to never had to do that. We always had compasses in the boat. Compasses. Uh, it's just a, it's, we it's, triangulated it's a spot. Changing. Triangulated yeah. spot. We're, yeah. we, we, we've already lost some of our young audience now because they know what's a compass. What is that? What is these triangular? What does that mean? Triangulate what? <laughs> yeah. 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 I'd, I'd like to see them out there running around with a paper map between their legs trying to find a spot on the lake. <laughs> Yeah, you're not sure where it's at. That you you, did all of that. That you bought at a local bait shop or something, you know. That's right. uh, (laughs) Back in that. But uh, the durability and things along that line, uh, I know that um, you're a competitor too, though. And so you you gave it your best shot, buddy. And uh, I know this one. I've got no regrets. There you go. I've I've had the greatest career a guy could ever ask for, being able to be out in God's great outdoors and uh, fish for a living, do something that I was, I feel like I was born to do. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, it was second nature to me to go anywhere in this country and find fish. It's no problem. Well, I think and, uh, uh, I, I have no regrets. I'm wore out. It's time. It's, yeah. But there again, Larry, you know, it's not like you've quit fishing. No, or you, you're going to be doing your knowledge things, is too good, valuable. But, uh, you don't... know, you're going to be around for a lot of different kind of events. And also, so. now you get to, a chance to do 
your second love, and that's to hunt. So <laughs> and we bring that back to that, you know. I know it. I, I always. And are you out? Are you going deer hunting today? It's Saturday morning. Early. <laughs> well, well, I'm going to hunt a little bit late this evening. Yes, I've okay. still got plenty of time to get to my stand, and uh, my stand's you. only a couple hundred yards from the house, guys. Well, I know. Well, <laughs> where you live right now, that's uh, you know, there's not many stoplights or anything like that to get to where you got to go. But uh, again, we're talking to our good friend Larry Nixon uh, recently announced that uh, the body's worn out but the mind's still good and uh, man the guy's fished in every every state just about been to Japan and uh, you know that run Larry back uh, when I became outdoor editor to the commercial appeal back in 88 I'll never forget that run you had back in uh, uh, in the 70s and 80s and things along that line and and I know that Jordan Lee uh, he's so he's excited thankful. He, he's so thankful and excited to go into the legend and he said i don't know man this is something you larry you just opened the door and so these new guys but we wanted to salute you today on outdoors larry ray i know you you got a lot of time you've been crunched with everything but uh we appreciate your friendship over the years and uh We'll continue to stay in touch. And, oh, uh, yeah, we'll, absolutely. We'll follow you on Facebook. This and post- I know I'll see you down the road and yes, events. Yeah. Make sure you're down the road yeah. and not in the middle of the road, Ron, okay, when you see Larry <laughs> like that. You know, he's he's he'll be the one hobbling along the side of the road there. That's me. But, Thank you, Larry. Buddy. Well, I'll be the other one that's hobbling along with him. He'll be right. ho- double hobbles here and everything. Thank you, buddy. Have Thank a great you, uh, holiday weekend here in uh, – um, and and also a Merry Christmas to you, and we'll talk to you next year. Just keep on trucking, okay, buddy? All right? Thank you, guys. Merry Christmas, and see you soon. All right. Mm, bye-bye. All right. All right. Thank you. Larry Nixon. All right, let me tell you about next week's show. It can't top this one. I'm sorry. You know, we're going to – it'll be <laughs> first really. Saturday, and that'll mean Gene Smith and Dave Gabbert will be in the show. We're going to talk a little taxidermies. Get ready, to, uh, folks. Uh, Chris Knight's going to talk about it. If you get that big deer like Larry, Larry Nixon's going to get – you want to mount it, we're going to talk to you a little bit about that. John Gordon's going to stop in next week also to All talk right. a little duck hunting with us. But, uh, Shelby, thank you for taking care of us. Ron, it was one of the best, yeah. buddy. And I know that uh, appreciate your help on all that. And uh, happy holidays to you, Ron Wong. Happy holidays to all of you all. Yes. Um, Shelby, thank you much for all you do. All right. And as I say, it doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport. What else, Ron? God, God bless, bless the USA. USA.